guys hi agents sean regis i want to show you a build i call umbra and uh, i call it umbra because these are the umbra pieces uh, this build i don't have to run out and play to show you how it works it's actually i can show it here so first i'll show the build quickly umbra <coughs> With weapon damage, critical hit chance or critical hit damage, depending on how high you are in your chance. I only go to 42 or 40 because I have the, um, the coyote mask. <coughs> it has this talent down here that it gives you critical hit chance. Critical hit damage for 15 meters and critical hit chance and hit damage within 15 to 25 and over 25 you get 25 critical hit chance so there's no need to reach 60 when you're running with the coyote uh, but all the other umbras again uh, weapon damage and critical hit chance or critical hit damage uh, so but i have put critical hit damage on all mine i can see yeah see i have critical hit damage on all of them yeah and then i put on the fox prayer uh, and I put one armor core on. I could put a red on too, but uh, a little blue doesn't. Uh, it's okay uh, for survivability. I reach one million armor because I've expertised up to twelve on all my pieces. Uh, I'm running with the Kingbreaker, and of course, damage to target or for cover is uh, the number one on your weapons. Uh, you cannot change the health damage. So you have to live with that. Otherwise, on any weapon, the preferred is uh, the damage and then the damage to target out of cover and damage to armor. Those three are the best to have on a weapon. But since this is locked, you can only use health damage. That's okay. But health damage is okay because you are killing people underneath their armor. So it's, it's not a bad thing. It has this thing called perfectly flat nine. I get 20% to pulsed enemies. So that means my uh, under barrel, that's a laser, linked laser pointer. You know, this one here. And you can only uh, equip that when you are using the technician. You see, there's this mark here. That means this is linked to the technician. Um, and then I use stability hit chance and extra rounds i could actually put critical hit chance here instead maybe that's better then we're a little higher see then we go fifth no it actually didn't change it sometimes it glitches anyway um and i use the scorpio for if people they rush me they come up a little close and remember this scorpio if you don't know that guys it has all these status effects on it. That's why um, it's so good against rogues, against uh, chungas and so on, because the the sixth shock, the sixth shot shocks, and that means while it's shocked, you can actually reload. Um, and then you give twenty percent damage to actually the whole group, if I remember correct. Uh, from all sources yeah that means i actually give 20 percent extra damage to the group when i use this <coughs> whatever handgun you want to use is up to you uh, i just have a tendency i'm putting on a tdi because of an extra skill tier um, i use my revive hive because this is a dps build and I use my shield to get out of sticky situations. You see, I have tier two because of one blue here and one skill and one skill tier on my um, uh, what is it called on my specialization. Uh, but the thing is, if I actually bring out the gun and then you look at my shield, then I'm skill tier three. Whenever you equip the gun, you get an extra skill tier. That's how that gun works. So, for example, if you wanted to throw your reviver to your friend, you see right now I have two charges, right? That means I can throw one and uh, I can actually still uh, revive myself. Uh, but if I take away the gun, handgun, 
and equip this one and I go in and look see now I only have one charge so it's a really good trick to when you want to throw your revive hive to somebody who's downed equip your um, TDI card custom then you have an extra charge that's a little trick uh, us people that's been playing for a long time that's how we work it but this is how the build works um, I'm not going to sit and read what it says here in the description because I found it very confusing but I'll explain to how it works um, when you are <coughs> when you get shot let's see if we get shot duk, 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 duk. whenever you go in cover you start healing up you see that it heals up really quickly and as soon as you healed up um, you when you then go out of cover you will have extra rpm and higher damage you see how uh, how fast i'm shooting it's like the striker and then it's gonna disappear at some point and you'll start shooting slow again And then we say, okay, I get damaged, do, 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 do. somebody hits me, boo, I go down and cover again. And those icons in the bottom, the green ones, is what you're going to look at. See, that one just disappeared, that means now I can go out and shoot with a really fast RPM. So this is a build where I hardly use uh, my um, uh, armor packs, because I get so much from just going into cover. When, you sh when you're shooting cover, you have the same RPM. Shoot slow. You read 6800. But as soon as I go out, that's where you see high numbers and faster uh, speed. There is something about it also gives you... Yeah, I don't know, armor regeneration, but that's that's when you go in cover. But that's how this works. <coughs> the Umbra build. Uh, my stats are this. Uh, 47 critical hit chance. It is it is 60 uh, with the Coyote mask. 190 crit hit damage and 75 headshot damage. So it's a pretty good DPS build. Um, if you learn how to utilize going in cover and getting out of cover uh, it's really really nice build so thank you for watching and bless you all guys take care bye